I'm Kelly Norton. I'm your AZ Realty Lady and I want to answer a really common question and give some guidance. Uh, I get this question a lot. So people ask me, what's the return on the investment if I were to build my own pool? Or should I just buy a home that already has an existing pool? And if that pool needs to be remodeled, is it worth it for me to put the money into fixing the pool that's already there? Hi, I'm Kelly Norton, your AZ Realty Lady at EXP Realty. Count on me for all things Arizona real estate. For those of you who don't know me, I'm Kelly Norton. I'm your AZ Realty Lady. I'm a 20 year real estate agent here in the Valley and a Valley native. I love helping people uh, with all their questions when they're relocating to or within Phoenix and surrounding areas. And of course, I'm a real estate agent. So if there's anything I can help you do with your move or helping you find your next home, please feel free to call me or text me. It's the best way to reach me. I am also available on email, but phone and text by far the best way to reach me. All right, so let's dive right in here. <laughs> Literally, maybe into a pool. <laughs> so uh, 33 to 35% of homes have pools in the Phoenix area. Now, as you go further north, you head towards, you know, Prescott Flagstaff, definitely not as common unless it's a heated pool or a spa. But in Phoenix, a lot of homes have pools. So people often ask, should I, you know, put in my own pool or should I just buy one with an existing pool? So let's talk about that. So when you buy a house on the resale market and when it already has the pool, that upfront investment has already been made by the prior owner. Now homes with pools in Arizona are very, very popular, especially Phoenix area, all the surrounding areas, Mesa, Chandler, Buckeye, Scottsdale, Tempe. So we're talking about all of your surrounding areas, Peoria, Glendale, I could go on and on with all the suburbs, okay? But all of these areas are popular because of the heat. So to have these, these pools, people will pay more than what they would pay for a, a home without a pool. So in today's market, 2021, 2022, people are willing to pay 30,000, 40,000 higher, 50,000 higher to have a pool in the backyard. So pretty much that pays for the investment that that seller had put in with the pool. In a normal market, however, it oftentimes you don't have people fighting to bid the price up to have the pool. They're willing to pay maybe five or 10,000 higher. So if you spent 30 to 50,000 to put your pool in, you might only get 10,000 or so above what a home would sell for without a pool. So you just have to keep that in mind, depending on the market, depends a lot on whether or not you're gonna get that return on that investment. Now to build a pool, let's talk about the cost. So to build a pool, we have different contractors. I have um, real estate agents that are friends of mine that live in other states. Um, Utah comes comes to mind. I have a great friend, Melissa, uh, that's a real estate agent there. And she said that to build a pool there, just a pretty basic pool, people have to be at least 100,000 invested. Now, I asked her, you know, is that because it's not very popular? There's not a lot of, a lot of demand, so they can pretty much monopolize. Um, you know, you only have a couple pool builders, so they can pretty much charge whatever they want. It's not a very competitive industry. Here in Phoenix, it's a very competitive industry. There's a lot of pool builders, there's a lot of small pool builders, and there's even a company um, that, that says uh, they will build your own pool. So it's called BYOP, build your own pool. <laughs> and what they do is they allow you to basically be your own contractor. So the price for that is gonna be usually like 30%, 40% cheaper than if you were to go to one of the big contractors. But if you're someone like me, I am way too busy to be trying to manage and um, try and, and manage an entire crew and, and coordinating people coming in and out. Um, I have enough going on. I do not have time for that. So if you do have the luxury of either being retired or um, one of you stays at home uh, or you have, you know, where you work maybe four 10 hour days and you have a bunch of, of days off, this would be a great option for you. And again, that's build your own pool and that certainly lets you get a pretty big discount. So I know someone that did a, a build your own pool and a, a pool and a spa and some landscaping and a barbecue built in. Um, I believe they only paid about 70,000 and I say only because 
you go to a pool builder and a landscaper and, and they have all of their people doing it and you're going to probably be 120 to 150 for what her pool was. So, um, you know, paying 70 or 80 versus uh, 120 to 150, that's quite a bit of savings there. So let's talk about just your average pool. So let's talk about just an average pool, no spa, uh, maybe one water feature. If you're gonna go to one of the large pool builders that we have here, you're probably gonna be in that 40 to 50 range for a basic pool. It was five, 10 years ago, only 20,000 to put in a basic pool, but the prices for pools have just about doubled. So you're gonna be in that 40 to 50 range. Plan on that for a pretty basic pool. And if you want something a little more elaborate, it's probably gonna bump you more into that 100 range if you're talking about heated pool and you know the grotto waterfall with the barbecue underneath and landscaping and slides. I mean, you're gonna be well over that 100,000 mark. So just keep that in mind when you're thinking about you know building your pool. So another thing you wanna think about when you're building your pool is if you're near a mountain. Because in Arizona, what's under the ground? <laughs> it's like concrete and, and it's, it's worse. It, you cannot build through that granite uh, very easily. So we have what you call a hard dig if you are near the mountain. So you might be thinking, hey, you know what? I'll buy this, I'll, I'll put a pool in. Be careful, you might wanna call the pool contractors and find out what their average hard dig costs are in the area. And um, hard dig, you know, you're, they can't just do it with jackhammers, they can't do it with a small, um, a small little tractor. They, they oftentimes have to bring in the big guns for this. And depending on if you have an RV gate or you have just a little walkthrough gate, um, is also gonna depend on how much damage they're gonna to have to, to do with your wall and rebuilding your wall. And all of these things take into account with your cost. If they're rebuilding your block wall because they had to put a bigger, a bigger machine back there, now your cost went up. Plus to, to uh, break down into that granite, there's a, certainly a cost there. Um, I built a pool in Los Cendis in Mesa. This is Northeast Mesa nestled into a mountain community and our hard dig cost us 5,000. Now that was 16 years ago. <laughs> so um, what was 5,000 then would probably be a 10 or $15,000 hard dig now. Um, there's some areas in North Peoria that are up on the hill and man, those are 20 to $30,000 hard digs. But you know, if, if you're in the in the city or just in Scottsdale, or you're away from mountains and um, or let's say you're in Tempe or you're just in Gilbert, you're probably not going to have a hard dig. Um, it's really going to be on those uh, on right at the base of those mountains or if you're up on a mountain, you'll have those hard digs for your pool. So just keep that in mind. The cost to build the pool normal would be maybe 40, 50,000, but then you have to take into account the hard dig for it as well. Now, a lot of people will say, okay, well, I'm, I'm trying to decide if I buy a home that has a pool that might be in rough shape and then just remodel it. Um, so I can speak from experience there. <laughs> the home I, li I live in now has a pool that when I bought it needed to be refinished. All the cool decking was just messed up all around it. Looked like some of the oleanders around the pool had lifted up the, the cool decking. Um, and it was just ugly. It was an ugly pool, but I loved the area and I wanted, I wanted the home, I loved the home. So I thought, okay, well, I'll just redo the pool later. So it was about 20 to 23,000 that I paid to remodel an already existing pool. So now this was, you know, five or six years ago. Um, so keep in, keep in mind that you're already paying a little higher for the home because it has a pool, whether it's in great shape or decent shape, there's still some cost there. So you're already paying a little higher for the pool, but then on top of it, you're gonna throw in 20 to 30,000 for, for a remodel um, of the pool. And I'll show you what I did as far as a before and an after on my pool, just to give you an idea. Again, that was like five or six years ago. Um, I did not use a major pool company to remodel my pool. I used a smaller local pool remodeler which I would definitely recommend going that route um, because they basically are your subcontractor and they will they will bring in all of the trades for you. Um, and they're not this big commercial brand name that pays money for all of the exposure on TV and billboards. So their costs can 
be much less to you, the consumer. So definitely can give you recommendations if you're looking at remodeling a pool or building a pool, feel free, you can comment here and I'll share that information with you or you can always call me, text me or email me and I can share that with you um, that way as well. So I think overall, if, uh, if I had to choose between buying a home that already had the pool and one that didn't, um, and as far as investment goes, I'd probably always go the route of buying one that had the pool. But what you have to think about is in a very competitive real estate market like we are in uh, right now, 20, you know, from the years 2020, 2021, 2022, there's such little inventory. So you might not have that luxury of being able to choose with a pool or without a pool, you might have to say, well, crap, I'm just gonna have to buy one without and put it in later if I wanna do that because there's just not a lot to choose from. But in a market where there's normal inventory and you have a lot of choices, definitely if your pool is important, then just go the route of buying the pool. It won't be that much more to just wrap it in your mortgage and not have to worry about getting a separate loan for it later or getting an equity line or paying cash. It'll be wrapped in your mortgage, which is a major pro, and um, it's easier to go that way. But like I said, in today's market, you might wanna consider just buying the home and, and putting that pool in later. A lot of the pool companies will do financing for you, um, but otherwise you would need to find some way to finance it, whether that be an equity line of credit. A lot of people, they bought their home a year or two ago and they have plenty of equity to pull off of to build that that pool so if you need a lender to help you um, with refinancing or equity line of credit again i have my mortgage loan originators license and i partner with amerifirst financial so i would be more than happy to connect you uh, so that you can look into doing a refinance or a home equity line of credit usually with the helocs that's what the home equity line of credit is called Usually with the HELOCs, it's better to just go into your, your bank. Um, that's what I have found to be the best. Um, but if you're looking at refinancing all the way around, then of course, reach out. I can certainly connect you with the right partner for you. All right, well, I hope I gave you some insight on uh, building a pool, if it's worth it to build a pool, um, and what you might expect for costs of building your new pool or even remodeling. So if there's anything I can help you with, again, best way to reach me is text, or call me. My information is on the screen. I'm Kelly Norton. I'm your AZ Realty Lady and I help people relocate to or within the Phoenix and surrounding areas. Take care. Have a great day.